delighted finally also that you can finally see a permanently a Wildcats player. Delighted to be all done? Yeah, absolutely delighted. It's, um, it's taken a while to, to, to get to this point and um, it was something I always wanted to, to happen but I had to ju jump through a, a few hoops and um, yeah, just, just good to get my future side and, uh, for the next two years and uh, at this club as well. It's, um, yeah, it's been a been a, been a tough old draw, but uh, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed it's all done. Yeah, so much parts, I think, from the start, joining on loan and putting your parts and things, something special sort of building here. You've been keen to stay part of that and the spirit amongst the boys and, and the club as a whole, really. Yeah, I've said, um, I've said publicly, you know, the, the club and, and everyone involved in the club couldn't have uh, welcomed me uh, anymore and, and made that sort of move. Uh, that could have been a potentially difficult move. Um, easy, you know, they sort of welcomed me with open arms and as we sort of formed that bond, we were all thrown together at the start of the year, the playing group and the coaching staff and everyone was new as well. So as the season went on and um, you know, we just sort of formed that friendship and you know, I said again like I probably haven't enjoyed the season as, as much as I did last year for a long time. Um, and that's down to everyone involved in the club and um, made it even even more sort of attractive to stay for the longer term. And the squad is gonna be very similar, maybe a few more additions to to come in for next season, but we'll be a lot further up at the starting point come pre season than we were last year, which can only bode well for starting this season probably better than we did last year. Yeah, massively. I think it, you know, with the turmoil and um, the disruption we had people coming in at different times and, and just basically a whole new squad. Um, it, the the enormity of it probably um, didn't, we didn't realise that until we start, start started playing, you know. But um, like I say, we've got a got majority of the settled squad, and I know there's one or two more exciting announcements to be to be made, and um, they're really encouraging as well. So I think it's um, them to like another addition to the squad, and um, and have the settled squad, and we can all start back uh, in, at the start of November with. With, uh, with four memories of how we finished last year and, and certainly looking to build on that. Well, that's it, obviously, went bad out of the playoffs to the eventual champions, no disgrace in that. Um, but seven wins on the road to end the season really takes you into the new season and pre season in good stead and in, in good mood to start again in February. Yeah, that's it. I think um, that, that seven match winning run sort of coincided when everything clicked and uh, we had a real settled sort of spine on the side and, and, and a lot of continuity in that. And, uh, we just found our style and, and our, our way to play and uh, we're really big on that, um, continuing to do that for, for, for our them seven games and um, we'll, you know, we'll probably build on that this year and um, we, we found a style that's so we did we've got the players to adapt to that style and um, you know, really exciting and uh, hopefully start where we left off. And um, what are you hoping for personally and um, as a team next year, form a very solid combination with Ben Kane and Peter Fox as a back three, you three I imagine will be wanting to, to build on that for next season and and have another good year and hopefully make the eight. Yeah, definitely. I think a top eight is, is what we're all striving for and, and anything can happen. I think, you know, we, we we had some great games, but then we also probably let a few slip last year as well. So I think it's just, you know, myself um, personally, form wise and um, and the team is just probably trying to be consistent week in and week week out um, to try and just hit them sort of targets that we set ourselves at last year and, and you know, try and try and be more consistent and then you know, with, with Foxy and, and Ben Kikane, I thought you know, we, we developed and um, sort of found our little team within a team, if you like. And, um, yeah, looking forward to getting that because we're uh, two good guys to play with. Um, there's about a week and a half left of the season ticket offer. Fans have got behind the club in the numbers again, over 3,000 towards the 4,000 member target. How big a boost would be if the lads come back in pre season knowing that that member target's been hit and, and people are waiting for the really buying them once again as they were last year? Yeah, but it'd be a huge boost as well. I think it, it shouldn't be lost on the fact, um, you know, a lot of our success and, and feel good factor were down to the fans last year. You know, the crowds were up 25%. And it was a pleasure playing, playing, playing down here this, last year and, and packed the uh, stadium. And, some of the some of the days we had down here, you know, we we, uh, we beat Holcombe back, and then we beat St Helens and beat Carlan, and you know they they formed great bonds with the fans, and um, you know the last game of the season that we had here against Witness, where all the fans were on the field, it was it was magic, and that was a big part of why I wanted to stay as well. Um, so if we can get the, the target hit and, and, and surpass it, you know, and you know that many seems like coming here and make it a real fortress.